Now, as you commence your career as a teacher, one of your biggest challenges is going to be around staying up to date. Um, here at university, you're being filled with all the wonders of educational pedagogies and different approaches to teaching and learning. But when you get out into the business of a school, it is much more difficult to engage with your own learning. And as a professional, you do need to ensure that you do remain up to date and continuously improving yourself as a professional teacher. Now, one of the ways of doing that is to engage with research. At universities and other spaces, there are lots of academics and professionals exploring new ways of doing things and conducting research to verify whether or not those new ways of doing things are actually effective or not. So being engaged with what is happening in the research space around teaching and learning can assist you in staying up to date with what's happening. And of course, around educational technologies, there's new things happening all the time in this space and staying up to date with that is very useful. As we mentioned some of the trends and looking at the trend reports, but now looking at the more general research processes. Now, some ways of doing this is through professional development and if your school, if you're lucky enough to be in a school with a really strong research-based culture and leadership, there are some schools where um, they release you to do research projects and they give you funding to explore those research projects. Some schools even assist you in going to university and doing master's programs and engaging with research at that level. And many schools bring in researchers to undertake projects within the school and teachers and students work with those researchers and explore different aspects. And all of this goes into reports and journals and so forth. Now, teachers don't spend an awful lot of time reading academic journals, which is fair enough. But many of these are presented in more teacher-friendly formats in teacher magazines, um, at teacher conferences, and other ways where you can find out what has been happening in the research space and allow you to improve your own practice through what is being discovered. Now, another element of that is that you can undertake your own research. Now, you can do that formally through a master's program and further studies and so forth, even doing a PhD. But another way is actually to undertake your own small, smaller scale research studies. Now, we have a number of these that involve teachers. Some of them involve a teacher and a researcher, some of them just the teacher themselves. So action research is generally designed to be done in conjunction with a researcher and a teacher, a practitioner, where the researcher understands the theory, the teacher understands the practice, and they work together around studying what the teacher is doing and how they could improve that practice. Now, another approach is called self-study. This is where you look at your own practice and through a process of reflection upon what you do and articulating that, writing it down and trying to explain what it is you're doing and why. So it's a bit like an extended diary, but it's purposely done to try to improve your own practice. And that's another research approach. And the final one relates more to design, um, technologies education, which is design-based research, where you undertake a process of trying to improve your practice Let's say you have a really great activity where the students are making bridges and testing their bridges and so forth, but you're finding that some difficulties are happening with that activity. So you would undertake a design-based research process to study what is happening with students as they do the activity, what is happening with the teachers as they do the activity and plan it and conduct it, and then make some suggested changes and then evaluate those changes and go through a design cycle as we've been learning in technology education to improve the practice of that particular activity. So that's combining research with the design process to, to better our practices. So again, probably not something you're going to have a lot of time to do in your first year or two out as a teacher, but over time, as you want to develop and improve your practice and go through some more formal practices around that, being able to engage in your own research can be an effective process for that. And of course, engaging with existing research through books and journals and magazines and conferences and workshops 
can help keep you up to date with the latest trends and changes happening in education and make you a leader in education rather than just someone that follows and does what everyone else is doing and has ever, everyone has done for many generations.